Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a work from home capsule wardrobe. So I found that I've just had more productive days since I've been dressing up, just making the effort to look presentable at home. I will be trying everything on in today's video, but I really wanted to quickly show you a couple things that I think are essential if you work from home. Even if you're just on your computer or film a lot, I would highly recommend investing in some blue light glasses. With a lot of my outfits, I've just been pairing some simple accessories like a watch or maybe just a layering necklace. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like this video if you did enjoy it and I will keep making more like this for you guys. I don't wear this very often, but if I am feeling very spiffy and feeling like looking very nice at home, I will throw this outfit on. This is a dress from And Other Stories. I actually got it off Poshmark. It was for a very affordable price, so you can get your hands on And Other Stories without having to pay that huge price tag. Usually I don't go for a look like this when I'm home, but if I feel like I really need to dress up and put an extra effort in just to get some more accomplished I will throw this outfit on. It is a really comfortable dress. And then I just throw this American Eagle cardigan on top of it and it's super comfortable, but very smart at the same time. I don't wear these tan flats all the time. Usually I'm just in my slippers, but if I really am going the extra mile, which is not very often when I'm home, if I'm gonna be honest, but this is a really comfy shoe to wear around the house. It has pockets, because I like my pockets. I feel very put together and ready to tackle the day. This is another outfit that is really great. I think blazers and leggings are definitely the way to go if you wanna be very chic and motivated at home. And for some reason, there is just something about this blazer that is so extra comfortable. In this type of outfit, I feel very professional at home and I just find that I get a lot done. I really, really like the contrast of the oversized jacket with the tight fit leather leggings. I think those two just really complement each other. Having these comfortable flats on again. So there's another outfit for the blazer that I found myself going to sometimes when I'm feeling very, very motivated. Sometimes I just need a little bit of spring into my very basic black looks and this is one of my favorite ways to go. Black leggings is a very common work from home essential. I love these Spanx full leather leggings. They come up really high onto your back and they don't slip and slide. They're very flattering too. I love the faux leather. It's not a shiny leather, it's more of a dull matte. And I just paired it with these shoes again for the sake of the outfit. And normally with this oversized white sweater, I would pair a bralette with it, which You'll see as I show you the outfit, but I wanted to show you in person what it looks like. This is the bralette that I would go for. Since I'm trying on so many outfits, I didn't put the bralette on, but I usually wear that with this oversized sweater. Bralettes are so comfortable if you like them. This is a really simple classic example of a work from home outfit. I feel like this is a very popular one, just finding your comfiest sweater. This one in particular is from a brand off Amazon called Woolen Bloom. I'll leave it linked down below, of course. But it's my favorite go-to sweater for wearing at home. If I just need to feel wrapped in something warm, fuzzy, and everything good. It's very flexible. Usually I'll just sit cross-legged on the couch 
and do some editing that way. But this is just a really comfortable outfit for me and it's still putting an effort to dress up. Another reason why I highly suggest high-waisted leggings is that I really do get a lot of support in my back. Sometimes it's really easy for me to just slouch over and kind of pucker my belly out instead of not sucking in but being conscious of my figure and make sure that I'm giving it the support that it needs. I really have noticed a difference in my figure just by focusing on it throughout the day and I think that's huge. If you're working from home, posture is definitely a big issue for me. loving the trend of the midi dress um, specifically the satin midi dress I got it from ASOS and this is an old sweater from American Eagle I actually got two shades in it because I loved this sweater so much I just found it sitting in the back of my closet and recently I have been loving wearing it with this dress but I just love how comfortable this is dresses in general are just really comfortable so if I'm feeling like I just want to throw a dress on and sit at the table and work, I will go for an outfit like this. I love this shade of blue too. I think there's just something about this color that is so pretty. I love the very subtle bell sleeve too. I think it's just a really pretty statement to wear at home. It's still that oversized comfortable sweater with a very basic dress. So this is the same outfit with just a sweater thrown on top of this midi dress. I love this shade of lavender purple and it gives you an idea of the fit of the sweater. And really comfortable oversized fit. The floral again is just really pretty with this black satin material. This dress is super comfortable because it does have slits that make it really easy to sit cross-legged on the couch. This also is a really great way to transition from the colder weather into spring. Lavender is definitely a huge color this spring and just having something like this already in my closet and just throwing it on top of the satin midi dress, not much thought to it, just throw a sweater on top of a dress and you're good to go. Eagle Kirby mom jeans are very comfortable and perfect for the springtime because they're loose. I love wearing one color luxe. They're my favorite trend this spring. I love it. I got this from H&M and this crop top holds onto perfume so well. Like my perfume lasts. Yeah, this is just a basic outfit. I feel like this is an essential outfit though. Even though a lot of these are effortless, this one is different. There is just something about an all black outfit that is so cozy and effortless, which is why I think I turn to them so much. But throw in crop tops and high waisted jeans and you've got the perfect home outfit. So a lot of times when I'm feeling like wearing all black, just because black is so slimming, I will more than likely choose this outfit. I have the black leather leggings with a tank top tucked in. Wearing this comfy oversized duster cardigan is my favorite outfit right now. I've actually been wearing this quite a bit recently. This cardigan I picked up from Express and this is definitely an outfit you could just switch out for stuff that you have at home. I believe this is a duster cardigan. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but correct me if I'm wrong but this is a really great option if you like to wear darker moody colors I love it when I'm wearing dark outfits I just feel invisible and just very comfortable and if I was feeling up to it I would probably throw on a couple layering pieces and of course I would always have my glasses on if I'm working on my computer
all I did was take this oversized shirt and tie it in a cute little knot in the front. And I really, really love this look. It's very comfortable. Um, once again, this is another outfit that I could pair that bralette with. I love this satin material contrasted with the leather. This is another outfit I turn to a lot. If I need a break from my oversized sweater, sometimes I will wear that too much. And if I need to mix it up, I will throw this top and just make it into a cropped oversized loose fit. All you'd need is just your favorite oversized item for the top and then if you have just a pair of simple black leggings, it doesn't have to be leather leggings, but I definitely prefer the leather. I think they're just so comfortable and sleek. So usually I do not get this dressed up, but it's a really comfortable outfit. And ever since I got this blazer, I have been loving it. I've been wearing it a lot recently. For this outfit, I just went with my And Other Stories cream shift dress and I threw on this blazer on top of it. This is from ASOS. It's just so funny how outfits can really determine the outcome of my productiveness at home. And if I feel like I really just need to pull myself together and go the extra mile, this is an outfit I will reach for. I think blazers are a great way to bring the office into the home and even just feel like you can get a lot accomplished. I actually do not like wearing jeans at home. I just don't like that I can't just move in them very smoothly and they're just, they're very restricting. But I do really like wearing the American Eagle curvy mom jeans at home. They leave with enough room in the hips that I don't feel like I'm suffocating in my jeans. This is once again that beige American Eagle cardigan. I love the button up look. I do feel like this can be kind of unflattering, but I do wear this at home a lot. And the material of this is really, really stretchy. So unfortunately, this has kind of stretched out the more I've worn it. Just because I'm always fiddling with it, I'm trying to get cropped looks with it. So I am on the lookout for a cropped button-up cardigan. I've seen several at and other stories, but guys, they're so expensive. I can't really afford to get them right now, but let me know if you have a favorite button-up cardigan and maybe I will look into it. I use what I have and this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite stay-at-home outfits. This is just a um, Nike suit, I guess, two-piece outfit. And I love the crop sweater with these comfy, very stretchy leggings. Two-piece outfits are just so comfortable. This is for those days when I really don't care. Like, I just need to have an outfit on and just get up and focus on whatever I'm working on. This is definitely an outfit that I've been going to a lot recently since we've all been home and I still get a lot done in this outfit. Sometimes you just gotta have those days when you wear your athletic attire as your outfit. That's been very popular these days. So I thought I'd give you the full picture with my slippers and everything. But that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you'll have to let me know what you thought of this outfit. <laughs> this one is definitely my most worn probably. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!